Today we're looking at working from home productivity applications. I wanted to dive into a handful of them that you can use for working at home and specifically focusing on asynchronous work, which is a type of work that doesn't require instant communication, meetings, or just that faff of being there in real time. I think that's the future of work, but let's talk about a few of that, those applications and how they can be helpful whilst working from home. So welcome, my name is Francesco. If you're new here, check out the tool finder site. It will help you find any productivity tool. And if you're interested, you can jump over to Bento course. It's the second version of the Bento course and is focused on priority task management, which will help you to add a layer over whatever task management app you use and enhance it with our system that we've created. So you can check that out in the link in the description. It's very neat, very cool. We've uh, spent a lot of time focusing on it more recently, but you can find that linked below. So very interestingly, there are a lot of different applications that um, are out there that I think are quite good for working from home. And I think working from home is probably not best operated in today's world. I think when we all worked from home, this, this sort of society just jumped in and we tried working from home with the same rules that we did whilst working in the office, which doesn't apply. I think working from home requires asynchronous work thinking. And I think if you haven't checked it out, Todoist or Doist have a fantastic blog about that that really explores the concepts that I think you'll find really valuable. But the first one I want to talk about is actually a Doist application. It's called Twist. We use it um, primarily because uh, we have a team of three and I quite like our communication to be non-real time. Uh, and that really helps because we can schedule work for each other and be able to you know, update each other when we need to, not necessarily always on in, in time. So we, don't, we only have two meetings a month, uh, one with Charlotte to do content as a, just a review, and the second one is with Steve to do editing tweaks and things like that. That's it, we don't have any other meetings and this system works and it's all thanks to the way that we structured Todoist, um, sorry, the way that we structured Twist. Um, Twist is a, a basically like a Slack competitor. They essentially ask you to start threads. The threads allow you to start conversations, but on a particular topic, which is quite different from some of the other apps that are out there. That's nice because you can close threads down when they're finished and you can move on to another thread when you think something's more relevant for that topic. And that's really nice because it's topic led versus thread, uh, just co like constant feed fed, um, which I quite like about the application. Next up is an app that I haven't used yet, but I checked out when I was um, doing some early reviews and I will be checking out very soon. It's called Reclaim. And I think it'll be quite useful for teams that are working from home. Uh, Reclaim basically wants to reduce the amount of meetings that you've got with one-on-ones and habits. And what I liked about it when I was first shown it by the team a few months ago was actually the ability where you add in your lunch times, breakfast and dinner times, not your dinner times all the time, but you add that all in first and you add in habits that you want to include in the day and it will work it around those without disrupting any of your time and it constantly adjusts to those tweaks. So I really like the concept of that and the application itself is really neat for re-coordinating one-on-one -one meetings with people and it seems to be much more suited for working from home type calendar uh, where your day can get pretty frantic or you want to have some deep focus time and move meetings around. So worth checking that one out. Next up is Endel. Now Endel is one that I think really will get you into deep work states whilst you're at home. It's an application I use and when I switch it on I quite like how I get into like this real zoned out focus when I'm doing it and it allows me to do like two hours stint, not at once, with breaks of just focused work. And when you're at home and you've got distractions around you, I think something like this can help give you and infuse those sessions that you're trying to do. Next up could be an app like AkiFlow. This is something that is becoming much more popular because unlike other task management applications that I've come across, it's a consolidation application. So you're probably wondering, what's a consolidation app, Francesco? Well, it's, think of AkiFlow as you've got tasks, you've got calendar, and then you've got consolidation. And that brings in tasks from other applications. And when you're working from home, 
you're in lots of different applications, whether you're working as a freelancer and you've got lots of clients, or you're somebody who works on lots of different projects within a company, you're probably gonna have lots of different project managers thrown at you, maybe Notion, maybe ClickUp, maybe Todoist. But what AccuFlow does differently is it brings in tasks from all of them so that you don't have to go to all of the different ones. So you can bring all of the tasks into your system and view, so think of like AccuFlow as like a viewer for your day. So a lot of people are turning to AccuFlow as like a way to experience their own dashboard for the day. And I think people are liking that as well as having the time blocking sort of daily planner type structures, which a lot of people like. It's growing in its design and function. And of course the sort of aim of it is to bring everything into one place. It's quite an interesting take. And there's not really as many uh, experiences out there. There was an app called Friday, which shut down a couple of a year ago, which was probably the closest that I've seen, but there's not really any other app that I can see competing with this uh, experience. Next up is Loom. If you're looking to save some time sending stuff to other people or visually representing stuff and you don't wanna jump into a meeting, Loom is a great one. You can record a short video with you explaining something and be able to send it over. I typically use Loom a lot of time to save actually doing meetings. Um, recording a loom allows me to send something that is self-explanatory and then I can that person can refer back to it at any given point which is really really helpful and finally if you're looking to maybe not micromanage but micromanage your own time toggle track is a good one for you um, if you want to see where you're spending your time whether that's on projects clients or maybe even just how you're spending your time on administration stuff or projects then toggle track can help you do that and that's quite nice because it's uh, like a level of management that allows you to see where you're spending your time. You can make adjust adjustments week on week. This is something that I always recommend to people every three months, do like a week where you see where you're spending your time and then you will be at the end of the week, be able to go, wow, I actually didn't spend my time where I think I should have uh, across the week. But it's well worth checking out if you're looking for one of these. I don't like it for like micromanaging your team because that's a different story especially when you're working from home. Uh, I think there should be some trust and some, how do you say it, like uh, ambiguity, like where you just leave somebody uh, to do what they need to do. Uh, I think that's what they should be and they should have the respect, I think, to be able to work when they need to work and be able to bring that in. But of course, um, I think Toggle Track is good for solo use if, if that's uh, understood. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, folks. I hope you enjoyed today's feature. If you want to check out the Bento 2.0 course, you can find it linked below. Thank you very much, folks, and I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio.